What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about how to get a younger woman if you are obviously an older man. A lot of guys in their 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, I mean 60, I'm not, we're not going to talk about them, uh, <laughs> but a lot of you guys be thinking that your age is a disadvantage. You guys be thinking that your age make you look less attractive to younger women and we know you guys like beauty and shit so obviously you want the young bitches. What you guys don't know is that there is actually one simple thing that you can do that would turn this around for you. A lot of studies are showing that younger women are actually able to fall in love quicker with older men. Here is the catch. An older man is only attractive to a younger woman when he represents her fantasy. What I mean by that is that younger women see older men as more confident and more masculine than people their age. And also, let's not forget, older women have their shit together because they had more time to get their shit together, which is incredibly sexy to women because, you know, women want money. So I'm telling you, even if she's your daughter's age, she will find you very attractive. You just need to know what to do. She won't hesitate to have a sexual relationship with you or to go out with you. Whatever social stigma she might have had in her mind is going to be erased and she's gonna go for you and she's only gonna follow her feelings the only thing that you have to do is you gotta show her your confidence and with that you will ignite her want for you so if you are an older man and you really enjoy younger women here is what you need to do to help you with your confidence number one eye contact you know how many times i've told you eye contact is really important because most people first off don't do it so if you are able to do it you will set yourself apart from the regular men regular men. I, I shouldn't say regular men but for the men who can do it it seems really small but it's actually really important because if you cannot stay with her look at her eyes and uh, be cool she's gonna feel like you know you're avoiding her you're not confident uh you seem afraid scared intimidated you know we don't want to be with men that are intimidated by us. We want to have a man that's like, yeah, that's my bitch. And yeah, what's up? If you avoid eye contact, it makes you look weak and submissive and non-masculine to us. Not saying that's what you are, but I'm telling you that's how it's going to be translated to. But just holding eye contact for three seconds at a time will show her your confidence and that you're not afraid of her. You will look assertive and now you look like an alpha male in her mind. Trust me, just being able to hold eye contact might actually create butterflies for her. Since we are talking about confidence, I want to talk to you about joy mode because joy mode will save the day. Especially if you're a little older and you know sometimes you know you need a little boost. This is the sexual performance booster. You need to see this as your pre-workout, but for sex. I know you've seen some erection pills before at the gas station. I hope you never venture out because you know you're gonna get maybe a four hour erection and you're gonna end up at the hospital. Joy mode is safe and that's why I wanna tell you about it because it's all natural. The creators of Joy mode saw that the market for that was so trash that they were like, okay, we gotta come in with something great. So whether you are happy or unhappy with your performance in the bedroom, why not be better? And they made sure that it was easy to take. So when you know, you know, it's about to go down in the basement, in the basement, <laughs> sure. Uh, you pour the little packet in six to eight ounces of water and you make sure you drink all of it. Also, you make sure you take it 45 minutes to four hours before you need to perform. So then when it's time, whoa, I'm ready for Baby, yeah, call her baby. I'm ready, baby. All you gotta do is go to usejoymode.com slash Melly or enter Melly at checkout and get what? 20% off. You can be that. Go and try it and I'm telling you, you will not regret. Number two, to improve your confidence, you can use playful judgment. Most men are always trying to impress, to show how much uh, money they get, how successful they are, how funny they are. And uh, you're always trying to qualify yourself, pretty much. But you don't have to impress the girl. She just gotta be attracted to you. Trying to impress just shows her that you don't trust in your own value as a man. So to prevent that, you want to use playful judgment. You only gotta pay attention to something she does, something she says, or how she dresses. And then 
make a little comment about it that is a little judgmental but obviously that is not gonna hurt her feelings it's playful like i said so for example if she orders a, i want a dirty martini you can say that obviously there is nothing wrong with a girl ordering a dirty martini but you can just be like oh you're that type of girl pretty high maintenance huh? a little bougie you know you can play around so now she feels like oh he's talking shit and now right there now you're playing and now you're not agreeing to everything she says oh another example on her free time she reads books obviously nothing wrong with that actually really good but you can play around and be like oh you're just a big nerd huh you know stuff like that so it's not really bad judgment it's actually playful and obviously you don't really mean it hopefully she got a sense of humor because if she can't get that the joke might not go the right way but hopefully you got some funny bitches in your back pocket also it shows that you are playful it shows also that you are evaluating her so you're not sold on her just yet you're still like you know check mark okay she's that that check 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 you know kind of like this so she feels like not that she's in an interview but she still thinks that she gotta show you that she's the one for you so she gotta prove herself and not you also you are not like most men you are not trying to sell yourself you are actually showing her that she needs to sell herself and she needs to sell some pussy i'm joking but instead you are confident you have your own value and you know your standards number three small disagreements so a big mistake that a lot of men make is that they agree to everything the bitch is saying and no obviously you don't agree with everything so i'm not saying go disagree with everything just to prove the point no if you really don't agree with something just say oh i don't see it like this or whatever because the minute that you agree with everything she's gonna think you're a nice guy and that you're only here to please her so whatever she says goes and again women do not like that as much as they're gonna be like oh no i want that they don't like it it also shows that your approval means too much to you a confident older man will not be scared of disagreeing with her so when she says something that you don't agree with just disagree in a calm manner obviously you're not arguing and obviously you're not angry so for example if she tells you oh i like dance music and you don't like it like for real don't just create shit you don't like it and you're like oh i've never liked that type of music i i just don't know it never got to me but what do you like about it so you see right there you're saying you don't like it but then you're trying to understand why she likes it and give her an opportunity to justify her answer so don't be scared of calling her out challenging her teasing her all of these are good obviously don't do it too much don't just disagree to disagree number four nicknames so women love nicknames as long as they don't think that there's the nickname that you use for every fucking body. You need to make the nickname specific to her, specific to maybe how she dresses or how she talks. Maybe she got an accent or specific to how she acts. You can say something like, oh, you're a troublemaker or you're a chatterbox because she can stop talking or dimples because she got dimples you know you gotta make it personal i know it's very small but it's very powerful because it shows that you don't take yourself too seriously that you are fun funny that you are easy going and uh that's really good because you know we all have our own shit to deal with but here you are light-hearted and fun to be around and it also shows that you're even comfortable with her and being around her by teasing her a lot of men won't do that because they're like oh i don't want to offend her but if she can take a joke, I don't think she's the woman for you. That's another one that you cannot overdo because it becomes annoying very quickly. So just a little bit. Just just know how much how much salt you gotta put in there. And number five, physical touch. I tell you all the fucking time, you need to touch the bitch appropriately. Yes. You know, a lot of you, oh no, she's going to call the police. It's not that serious. You need to start touching her in a okay manner, in a respectful manner, but you got to touch as soon as possible. Because if you don't touch, you're going to be in the friend zone really quick. I'm talking about platonic touches. Yes. So a handshake, a hug, uh, you putting your hand on, uh, her hand, 
you grabbing her hand because she says something funny, you touching her shoulder, shit like that. Obviously, nothing as titties, pussy, off limits, obviously, but I, I'm still gonna say it. Those are safe to do when you first meet a girl and it's not creepy. It shows that you are bold, manly, and assertive. It's proven that touch is the fastest way to create connections and feelings. So you start with those, then you move on to the riskier one when you build a rapport with her. And number six, leading the conversation. Yes, you know, I go on dates and um, they don't know what to talk about. And I'm the one, you know, feeling bad. So now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna lead the conversation. But as women, we want a leader. I know it's not all on you for the conversation. That's how you show that you're gonna be a leader, that you are confident, that you know what you're talking about. It's easier for us to like you because now we're there and we're kind of like relaxed. We're like, okay, he's gonna lead the conversation and uh, we're just gonna go with the flow. I know it's not fair in a way, but you want her to be relaxed. So it's easier if you take the lead and then she'll follow. You are in charge of making the conversation flowing. You gotta ask questions, share your stories, share your thoughts, make jokes. You, you gotta lead, I'm sorry. All right, so if you do all six of those, you are gonna look so confident that at this point she don't care that you are older because she's like i have a man i know it's not our place as women to feel or decide what a man is <laughs> but women do it so when you do that she's gonna look at you and she'll be like okay he's manly he's assertive he's a leader uh he knows how to connect all of this, it's attractive to women. And we associate that with like just men being older and having more experience. So now they know what to fucking do with us. Not to mention also, hopefully you are further along in your career so that you can actually provide also. So all of this combined, they're going to look at you like, yeah, he's older, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he gives me everything that's in my fantasy, everything that I want from a man, he got it. So I don't care about his age. I'll go for that. I am telling you, you need to try. Try it. And you won't be disappointed. All right, so that's it. That's all I have for you. If you need more tips from me, there is more videos, obviously. But also, I have a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. So if you want to schedule maybe a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, we can do that video call. Or uh, just there is more pictures, there is more videos over there. Just head over there. I appreciate you. All right, guys. I uh, hope you're having a great day. I think I've been yelling, have I? Probably. I, I don't even realize now. Um, but yes, I love you. And uh, go get them bitches. Yes. Ooh, goodbye. <laughs>